start to see some features that are on the Omega Vibe work their way back to the Love Vibe. The Love Vibe is a heavier frame. It will get lighter as these components move back here. The biggest difference between these two is this. Uh, the uh, Love Vibe has manual control in real time of the vibrato. Through the pedal, you can do wah, 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 wah. You can play rhythms with the vibrato. This instrument, the Omega Vibe, is a little bit more traditional in the sense that it has a motor, it's a motorized vibrato. But the big difference here is the player can set how deep the effect is. So it could be a very mild vibrato that's slow, like wah, 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 or a very deep wah, 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 wah. In other words, we, what we can do here is control how much of the resonator opens and closes. Can we see that real quick? Yeah, sure. Yeah, on, a, um, on a traditional vibe, you have turning pulsar fans. Right. So when they're open, they're mostly open, but not completely open, because they're, you're blocking the resonator with the mechanism. Right, and when right. they're closed, they're not completely closed. On this, that's completely open. Those resonators are wide open, okay? But I can also completely close them. So the effect here, what I can do with the Love Vibe, uh, I don't know whether that's going to record on your phone, but I think it should. I can control that. I'm controlling that through my foot. So. When you talk about with the Omega Vibe, adjusting the depth of the effect, which I'm not going to do because I've got to get under there to set right. it. Right, okay, okay. But you, you can change the speed just like on a normal Vibe, but the player can select whether or not it goes like this, for instance, mild, or... Now, now I'm going to cover all of the resonator. So what's happening now is, the volume, when I cover just a quarter, the volume drops, drops, drops. When I cover the whole thing, it drops loud, drops loud, nice. drops. So this instrument, you can do that with motorized vibrato. This instrument, you can do it with manual, real-time control vibrato. So that's the biggest difference between the two. So when you pack it, this, this brace comes off. All you do is loosen this knob, and the, the, the uh, center pole comes out. Instead of having to disconnect a pole, you just undo the snap. The, the poles will always fall down. <laughs> there's a, yeah, exactly. There's a snap That's on this. Great. You just snap off the buckle like on luggage. So this comes off, and then the legs fold under, just like an M55 or some of the other uh, travel bikes. Okay. Off the keys, take off the resonators, then you loosen these knobs. As you lift, the legs drop down about an inch, and then they fold under. You retighten those knobs, and they stay folded packed underneath so you don't need any straps or you know wow. when you're carrying around a vibe sometimes the legs are flopping all over the place right these lock into position so you can adjust every single note for volume and sustain like some wow. some players say oh I want my top range to really ring a long time right a lot of sustain other players want power and they don't care so much about the sustain but you can't adjust it on any other vibe whatever you get from the factory, wherever the plugs are set, that's what you have to live with for the next 20 years. Right. On the Malintec Omega or the Love Vibe, all the notes all the way up are all tunable, so you can customize your instrument to be whatever you want. You're playing in a very hot club in an acoustic environment, and it's uh, 80 degrees in the club, and you know, sometimes you play 85 or 90 in a club, and the instrument sounds like junk because the resonators go sharp in heat the bars go flat in heat, and they separate in pitch. That's what. That's why you need tunable resonators on a professional instrument. So you get to that club situation on an Omega or a Love Vibe, and you can pull out the plugs, and you can get it back sounding like it does at 70 degrees. 